Welcome to Double A Gaming. Uh, this is our fourth episode. The Green God came out today of Let's Talk About Gods. Um, Andy couldn't make it tonight. And so to replace him, we've got Kyle here from the show from before. You guys remember him. Hey, guys. And uh, we'll be talking about... Um, oh, God, what's his name? Uh, I really should have... This screen's got a... Ray- Ronas. Ronas, thank you. I, I kept saying <laughs> the cat god yesterday wrong. <laughs> I wouldn't stop. People get so mad at me. Yeah, you are um, really bad at pronouncing and w- stuff. W- uh, indomitable. Yeah, Ronus the Indomitable. So we've got it's a... It's kind of call him Roni. Yeah, Roni. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, so we've got Ronus the Indomitable. He is a two and a green, three drop. Um, legendary creature god still. He's got Death Touch and Indestructible. And his, uh, his clause is he can't attack or block unless you control another creature with power four or greater. And then he can pay two and a green to give another target creature you control uh, plus two plus zero oh, and trample until end of turn. Um, so uh, what do you think of this guy? First impression, I think he's great. Just, I think he, for EDH, I think he's good in almost every way. Um, comparing to the old god, to comparing Nyla. anything to the to, old gods, yeah, everything's to... a little bit tough because I personally think the old gods were just busted in general yeah but uh as far as this one goes um first off the three drop five five i think in green is just really really good yeah because there's so many cards like garok and soul's majesty and stuff like that that just relies strictly on power oh that's not yeah that's true so getting five indestructible power is actually at its advantage over the previous gods as you just that's there whether i can attack all time yeah not crazy important but you can run so many spells based around just having that five power on the battlefield, which is likely not going to go away. <laughs> like uh, Rich Katar's expertise and just draw five cards no matter what. That's exactly what I plan on doing. <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah, pr- precisely it. So, um, But e- even if he's not that, the chances of you having a two drop two two before him are so high that, that you, you t- can turn four, you can probably swing for nine. Yeah, and just buff him. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, and even in yeah, even in EDH, just you're always gonna have something big enough. Like this dude will never be off in EDH. It's almost oh, yeah. impossible. I can't picture myself not having some kind of two power creature in a green deck. Is it one him. creature or total power? Uh, one creature with one creature four. with four yeah. greater. That's still uh like going through going through some of my decks, just looking at what has ferocious when uh uh cons was in standard. And I was looking for, like, we're looking at all those cards and be like, okay, so what has four power? And it's just like, oh, <clears throat> everything. Everything. <laughs> like, even, like, the staples, like, even, like, the utility staples in green, like, Indrink, Stomp, Howler, and stuff like that have, have, are just big enough. Um, even, the, like, Artifact Enchantment Removal, like, uh, Bane of Progress, just always going to be four power greater. Just all this stuff is big enough. Yep. At just about all times for green uh, to constantly turn them on. Um in comparison to Ny- Nyella, um, I think he's way better. Um, he's one of the first ones. I'm trying to fully think of Nyella. She wasn't. She, Nyella I think she was my was, least favorite god. She is. She's easily the redheaded stepchild of the whole thing. Like she was. Yeah. She was just bad. I don't think I've seen um, her come up once. She is uh, four drop. Uh, I think a six five. Obviously, the devotion five or more. Yeah. And yeah. she gives other creatures trample. And That's then, right. She was the trample one, and the bow was a one. death touch. And the bow is a death touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, she gives she gives trampled all your other creatures, and then she can pay four mana to buff a creature plus two, plus two. Nothing else. I mean, it already has trample. That's cool and all, but... Yeah, no, she she was the worst. When I, when I think of the old gods, I think of every other one being insanely good <laughs> for what they are. Like, something oh, yeah. like Perforos, you know, if he was just an enchantment, without indestructible <laughs> without anything that's else that's it just any other rider red perforos <laughs> static ability enchantment i would use it yeah so um but yeah back to roni i think I, yeah, I, yeah andy wanted to mention the death touch body is just good in everything like a death touch five five indestructible is just all combat is yeah death touch it, indestructible it's, it's, in general is just insane. it's gonna it's gonna completely dominate combat uh much more so than like even like the white double strike one. 
Yeah, that one I, I wasn't impressed with. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. What what did you think about? Uh, as far well, Ronis, uh, I think is, I think it's fine. Um, what did you think about him in general? Like, give him a scale. Uh, what would you say as a general? Yeah, as a general. He doesn't look too fun to build around. I can't see myself using him as a general almost ever. Yeah. In green. I mean, it, you have Omneth right there next to it, and it's... Eh. <laughs> eh. I, he's cute if you want to be the guy that just swings for nine damage every time, turn four. Yeah. He's good. If he could buff himself. I, I think uh, I mentioned this. If he could buff himself, we would be having a different conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, he can't. He can only buff other creatures, which means he kind of can't. He can't swing for death, touch, and trample without help. But that would have been. Yeah. That would have been really, really crazy for. Uh, for some kind of like using him as your general, like just mono green Voltron would have been really interesting with him. I think they avoided that in general. Uh, mono any kind of Voltron with these. With these commanders. Yeah. There's. Yeah, with yeah, the, I yeah. actually kind of agree. Maybe the blue one. I really like. I thought blue the blue one. one. I, I I gave the blue one a um a solid like. I think I gave him like a. I said he would be a three out of five for the general. He'd be cool. Like he's probably the most playable still as your actual commander. Yeah. Um, one of the ninety nine, I gave him a solid five. Like every blue deck should probably be playing him. Um, I can't see a reason not to put him in a blue deck. Oh, yeah, that, that's I, the same thing I said. Andy said it. I think he said it. Having an it. indestructible permanent, even if it is just a creature that can just draw you cards unlimited, <laughs> it just seems good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would almost... It, yeah. It, it's, I can't it's see myself not using it. I can't um, even compare it to one. Uh, so, all that said, how what would you give this guy as uh, for a rating for a commander and for out of five... A commander and one of the 99. <clears throat> As a commander, I guess you rate on two things. I think it'd be good. I think it'd be like a three or four going for commander damage. But the fun factor of him, two. <laughs> yeah, I think he's very boring as a general. I, I, I wouldn't have fun building around him at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. And as a card, just being one of the hundred, five. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty. Play. I, I would I, love I to see him come up, but I I couldn't see him using my general slot. <clears throat> yeah, and he he gets better with other colors too. Oh yeah, the more. Um, actually, I think he, he does fine just in green. Oh, he's I, fine with mono green. Like I said, to be able to. Well, I guess you could do the commander and just have all of your effects being able to draw off of power. That's the thing. I, I don't think he's a bad. I don't think he's a bad general. I mean, yeah, he's not. He's, very, he's getting he's not, better and better. I didn't even. The think more of you it. think about it, I mean, just well, the, the thing I thought about is just finding a way to giving him trample, which it's the easiest so thing easy. imaginable in green, um, besides like ramping. Is yeah, you, if he has death touch, so if he's on and he swings and he has trample, all but the amount of blockers they throw in front of it is going through. Yeah, because death touch goes over it um i guess i'm just not damage. a big fan I, I wouldn't feel good about that like playing him <laughs> oh that's fine that's i guess fine. that's why i don't like it but oh, yeah, I, yeah. I could see myself building around the five or greater power that's just always being there and, and then there's one card i've always wanted to use that i haven't and it's the uh it's an old elemental it's an eight zero trample for three it's one of my favorite cards of all oh time. Yeah, yeah yeah from it was from time spiral right i believe it was force of savagery yeah it was some wonky set. yeah and like if and i think that's <clears throat> gay as anthem was specifically in planar chaos so you could make him happen oh yeah yeah so you'd have he'd, have, he'd be a nine one but um yeah that that card still that's what? that's the kind of card i've always wanted to build around and i've just never found like a casual i guess casual is the only way i can get away with it but uh that's i can kind of fill that slot yeah and just, you, just having you just feel the same way it's just like a it's just a huge it's way le it takes all the gamble out of it and just you can five giant three three it's very hard to get rid of <laughs> and and that's also pretty hard to not turn on like yeah this guy's gonna be a three drop five five in edh with death touch and indestructible yep it, yeah, there's so much good things to just put on them too like that uh there's an equipment that gives all your creatures plus x plus x when you tap them 
and that's oh, equal to his power. Uh, like something simple, oh, like throne that. of um, oh, what's it called? Uh, throne of the. It was in cons. Yeah, it was in cons. I forget what it was. It's a, it's some kind of throne, um, and it just taps. Yeah, it just taps to give all your creatures overrun for the amount of the creature's toughness. I believe it's gross. I think it was power. Either, Either way. way. Yeah, um, <laughs> it, it doesn't matter what this guy. <laughs> the, yeah, but stuff like that's phenomenal for him. I think I probably agree almost a hundred percent. As a general, I think he's probably better as we've been talking about him. He, yeah, he, I guess he could probably stand up there with you know the the I, I I don't think there's a lot of mono green just like big generals. I think a lot of them are just like a lot of them are weird. Um, like stuff like, uh, take something like, uh, Polycranos is like a big beef and green and legendary, but it's just not that great for EDH. A lot of them are designed like that. This is the first beef for EDH that I like has staying power. Polycranos. But yeah. I, I think he's good. But he wouldn't be good as your general. No, he wouldn't be nearly as good as your general. Yeah, this, this is, this I is think a... this is the first beef, mono green beef general that doesn't like ramp or doesn't do something else. Yeah, that's, that's a playable just general swing. I think this is actually I, I would actually give this probably a four out of five for a uh, commander. Yeah, I, um, I, I retract my previous score and I'm giving yeah. him a four. Yeah, they, I just never think of mono colors as generals. I'm just so used to playing like five. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get bored. I'm either less, one less or three. five. <laughs> yeah, I get bored less than three unless it's mono black. So <laughs> fair enough. Um, yeah, I think he'd be a lot of fun. Um there's definitely a lot there's definitely a lot to there's a lot to do with a three drop five five in green uh every time um i think as one in 99 yeah i'm gonna go with you on that uh same as the blue i'm giving him a five out of five like <laughs> five out almost of five. every a lot of green decks should be playing this uh if you're playing green and creatures you got it maybe there there's some fringe like control decks that are running green edh but most of them are running fucking creatures anyways i mean I, i'm thinking of even just token decks you know what i mean just flat out playing tokens i would still have them thing for still have them in for things like overwhelming stampede it's still worth it <laughs> yeah it's it's he's definitely he would have 100 percent been in your crush deck if you were still playing that he would have been great you have no idea <laughs> do i have a creature with four power or greater i don't know <laughs> maybe <laughs> um uh, so uh, while I've got you here, how do you feel about the other gods? I, I know we were talking about the blue one. I think we agreed mostly on the blue one. How do you feel about the white and the red ones? Um, I might have to uh, immediately read up on them just to oh, yeah, just... remember them word for word before I make any judgment on them. Yeah, uh, I believe... So oh, let's start yeah. with the white. So as a yeah, four drop, three six, three and a white, uh, double strike, indestructible... You can't attack a block unless you control three other creatures, pay three and a white, and create a 1-1 one, one Vigilance. You don't have to read the whole thing. We've already done it. But, um, oh, yeah. I guess <laughs> Fair enough. I won't, do, I won't read the other one then. But, um, boring. <laughs> I, I, I just saw it. I'm just like, cool. Boring. Yep. The fact that it had double strike, I didn't see that coming. That's like a new thing to just throw onto a creature as like when they do the five main abilities yeah i can't recall many other times oh like, like when they had a cycle of like yeah keywords. usually when they do a cycle yeah of keywords. they don't pick double strike because no it's the... usually first strike vigilance i think most of the time when they're doing cycles though they keep the power and toughness the same and that's why they don't do it but here they can just play with them yeah, yeah. which i like that i mean uh, i prefer this too it makes them a lot more interesting than just like the titans all having to have like stuck ones i think double strike is less interesting it like worse than death touch Worse than flying. The red one has haste. The red one is. I'd rather have haste. <laughs> that's that's how we uh, like. I, we were having a hard time coming. Yeah, last night we were having a hard time coming up with like praise for a three six double strike. Like, man, I sure hope you got that like Doran out. And then, that's and maybe you got some fun. But I mean, one thing I think is fun about it is more the flavor. Yeah. I'm gonna build a mono white cat deck. Yeah, a lot of people are gonna do. Oh you know, my god, we didn't mention it. We didn't even think of that. I, I want to build a mono white cat deck. Oh That's, god. I saw this and I'm just like, it's the god of the cats, and I'm gonna make them all worshippers. It's, it's, great, <laughs> it's you know? gonna be a whole bunch of cats. <laughs> it's just, especially with the new cards being printed. You have a cat lord. You have a cat god. 
Oh my, yeah. There's like we four didn't figure other... that yesterday. Yeah, There's... if you don't want to play Kemba, now you got yourself a cat god. <laughs> you got yourself a cat god. You know, just <laughs> equip that. It starts with double strike, which is great for equipment. Yeah. So. I said I said it was just shy of Voltron because you wouldn't have a whole bunch of other creatures, but I guess if you're playing more casually, just a bunch oh, of fucking cats. cats. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, cats. I'll I'll bump up the white one. <laughs> <laughs> In light of recent discoveries. Um, but yeah, if it wasn't a cat, I wouldn't have cared if that was, oh, if it was, yeah, I said it was just a, a fucking, a, a retarded, um, Heliod at that point is all it really is to me. It's not really much. It's not really different enough. I think global vigilance is better. And I think the cleric it makes is better. Yeah. I like the Heliod a lot more. Yep. If that's what Unfortunate for this guy. I mean, even yeah. like, I, I'm glad that. Uh, this god, the white god, is... I mean, I'm not glad that it's worse than Heliod. I don't particularly care about white anyways. But um, I'm glad that the green one is better than Naido. Without a doubt. Oh, the green the, one's insane. The, the green... Yeah, the it new, is undoubtedly... Ray, what's his name? Renos? Rena. Roni. Rena. Ron, <laughs> Ronas. 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 Um, yeah. Whatever. Um, he is definitely infinitely better than Nylia in edh and i'm glad that that happened yeah nightly is so bad i forgot what she did <laughs> <laughs> and you shouldn't be forgetting any of the gods if you're playing edh no because uh, they're gonna friggin come up except for nylia and uh <clears throat> frinka the green black one that nobody plays <laughs> i forgot about that like it's amazing oh, how God. bad they made the green even... ones they're fucking creatures and enchantments it's not like the black it didn't is supposed even to be good give one. you the snake yeah it gave the owner of the card the snake that i got nothing i love exiling my own creatures out of my graveyard in golgari decks for one one death touch snakes yeah that's what i like doing yeah oh man um so getting bad. punished for black getting rid of a card in an opponent's graveyard yeah that should have a downfall That's I, I would love to yeah have my creatures die in combat when i attack you after getting rid of your yeah. your reanimation but that, yeah let's just ignore that gun so <laughs> but i am glad that like this one is better even though it's very similar to nylia it does a lot of the same shit just like this the white and the green new gods do a lot of the same as the old ones yeah they're just and, better better printings Better printings, or the the green one. Sorry. Yeah, the, the, green, the yeah the green one's better this time around. The white one's worse, but they're still really. Sorry, close. in my mind, it's better because it's a cat. If you're like uh, it, <laughs> it's, it is because I never cared about the white one. Like he's, I think he's better on paper, but I didn't care. This <laughs> one's a cat it's a, god, so it's it's a tier above. <laughs> <laughs> completely. All right, so let, completely let, let us know what you think about the red one. The red one. So that one, I, I just love. I love red slam you aggro i yeah. mean i think it's hard to have it active which is kind of the tough thing about it but then again i'm also about to build a deck that is based around not having a big hand oh that's right you're building the minotaur, so I'm gonna do the minotaur. Yeah. yeah yeah well yeah so you're gonna need him yeah that makes sense so i guess i'm a little bit biased being that i'm like i'm gonna build the minotaur and then i saw the red god and just okay there it is <laughs> there we go works for me but the the thing I like most about this one is its ability. Yeah. The discarding a card and two damage to each opponent, I like having that on an indestructible permanent. It's another thing. It's just, it's good on its own. And if it's a creature, I, I think it's nuts to just come out and swing for five. Yeah. Indestructible. But um, even though haste really might be the worst ability, even though I like it, it's haste isn't bad in EDH. I've been haste finding definitely out. isn't bad in EDH. No, it's I used to love Sur surprising uh, people. Your brask. Yeah. For that reason. Uh, I hate playing against Senegos for that reason. Haste is not. Oh, d doubling the power and toughness is what made it hard to deal with. <laughs> yeah. But haste is also really annoying for control decks. I've had some horrible games. Oh yeah. Trying to play like Ruhan against uh, just just top Andy top decking with a friggin. Thraxmunder used to be one of my main hits in my Grixis Reanimator deck because he had haste. Yeah. It's just people don't see it coming with reanimation. Like, <laughs> Thraxmunder, boom, you know, eight. <laughs> Sack a creature that Chances you thought could block. Yeah. Um, Thraxmunder's great. Um, so red, just real quick, as a general, love it, but 
I mean, the Minotaur just came out, so come on. Yeah. Uh, as a card in the deck, I'd probably put it three and a half, four, right around there. I mean, it's a really good ability to have, but I don't think it's insane compared to all the other options. Funny. Uh, uh, just for Andy gave it, a, uh, I think, a one or a two. I, I think he gave it a one, um, and I gave it a three. So you definitely did. You definitely did have a little bias there. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, fact that it's, I just... It's funny, you did rate it higher than both of us. I so. said it ahead of time. Yeah. I, I'm no, 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 I'm not. It's, yeah. it's fine. It's just I'm funny. making the Minotaur deck, and then this comes out, and it's just like, all right, I need one. I, I still think, he, I think he's... I think I think he's definitely about the same as I put him at. And what I also really like him for standard. Oh, yeah. He's going to sure. be disgusting. I, mean, I think he's the most standard playable one here, without a doubt. Or oh, besides blue. I think the blue one's really good, but it's fringe. I think the red one's going to show up a lot. I see all of them being pretty good right now. Not the white one. Sorry, I'm not even considering that. Because the white one's the oh. Uh, I can't see that going into standard, but the blue one, insane. Um, but I think it's insane for standard. Five five flying indestructible. There's not a lot of flyers that can deal with that. It stops Hardikiron. It Stops Hardikiron. <laughs> it's trash. Nice unlicensed disintegration. There it goes. There's, there's still <laughs> landfall. In standard. Oh yeah, so bouncing Two, it back so isn't you, bad. You get yeah. that little bit of landfall. Yeah. Uh, how did you, what did you rate the white god? Just out of curiosity. Um. I said three. Yeah. No, four. I, I bumped it up to four because it can be a cat god. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. Even uh, if I'm wrong from what I said earlier, I change it to four because it can be a cat god. Yeah. So. <laughs> there you go. Works. Um. I'm covering my grounds. <laughs> All right. Now last um black god because that's probably coming out that that's the last episode and that's our that's our last we get one more shot for predictions what do you think the black god's going to do what do you think he's going to be what do you think his turn on is going to be what do you got i really hate saying the turn on i I gotta i gotta find a different word for that but i keep saying it gets turned on and it's just yeah yeah anybody we're we're gonna have to figure leave a comment if you have a better way of wording it so i don't sound weird animated Thank you. I could probably just go with that, but yeah. if you got a better one, let me know. If you got a better one, for sure, especially if it's funny. <laughs> we could always use a good one. My guess... I had a hard time with it, because I'm kind of rethinking what I was, because initially I thought it'd be creatures and graveyards, okay. and it could give a creature minus X minus X. And I'm still probably going to hold that as my prediction. But I don't know if they're going to base it off of that, because... It too much relies on your opponent and the other one the the first few gods don't rely on your opponent for their abilities at all yeah and that's why i'm kind of taking that back so i okay. don't know I, i'm gonna stick with it i'm gonna stick with gives a creature minus x minus x okay or and then um activates for creature cards in all graveyards i think that will include yours okay yeah. activate creature cards in all graveyards um uh, my prediction is i'm guessing probably around i think he's gonna be not another three drop i don't think they're gonna do more i think he's gonna be oh convert drop. mana cost yeah i would guess four uh, i'm gonna guess four i'm gonna guess his stats are gonna be probably just like a four six i think he's gonna be a bigger oh, specifics i think he's gonna be a bigger i think he's gonna be a bigger butt than Ooh, like wait more i forgot to give him an ability yeah yeah give, give us an ability his what do you think ability i thought you said minus x minus x that's his activated ability. I forgot about his static ability. Like, he has oh, indestructible yeah, yeah, yeah. lands. Oh, I've got my prediction on that. They already did Death Touch. They did. I, that was... That would have been it. So, I want to say it's going to be Menace. Okay. Um, I'm I'm specifically guessing he's going to be probably around a 4-6. Or a... F- or maybe like a 5-6. That kind of body. I think he's going to have Life Link and Indestructible. I think Ooh. he's going to only activate if your opponent has 10 less life than their starting total. And I think he's going to drain opponents. Or I- I'm guessing he's going to have that like vampire clause where it's going to yeah. be he's only active if they've been dealt damage this turn or something like that. I don't actually. No, I no that, that's impossible that. to turn on. I think, I, I, I think he's going to be based drained, off of life. I think it'd be more life than your opponent. If he might have, be, yeah. If, if you have X amount of more life, or even just more life in general than your opponent, yeah. he's activated, and then he could train. I don't know if that... I don't. I think that's a white ability, though, so I don't know. Yeah. I know. I think he's going to be based off of white, because I want to base him off the monument. I think he's going to be based off the monument. 
uh, that dra- that whenever you cast a creature spell, you drain each opponent for one, and you gain one. Oh, I thought you meant like physically what the uh, monument looked like. I forgot what's the black animal. The black animal is a crocodile. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be a crocodile. I think he's gonna drain. I think he's gonna be somewhat around draining. I want to make the prediction that he may turn on if they're like, um, if they're at less life or more. If you if they have less life, no. Damn it. I was so much more sure of it while I was thinking of it while we were talking. Um, Maybe it's each op- each player loses life, and your opponent has to be at, like, 10 or less. Mm. Yeah, I just... I, I, yeah, thing. never it, mind. It, it would There's, be so It's a bad. really hard way of doing it. Yeah, I think it's going to be creature cards in graveyards. He just crunches. Maybe. Yeah, crunch, he crunch. might be based all around the graveyard. That would be that would be disappointing, because I'm kind of hoping for, like, a... I would, I would like something that plays with life totals more in black. Um... Yeah, Though, I'm all about the graveyard. If he's zombie. about, if he, yeah, if he's, <laughs> yeah, with all the zombies that came out today, I, I probably could retract what I was thinking. Maybe he'll self mill, and then an opponent self-mill. loses life equal to the creature cards revealed because they've done that a few times. Mm. You divide the creature cards put into the graveyard this way, and then it could be equal to amount of creature cards in your graveyard. I think, I think he's gonna have definitely some kind of life drain or life loss attached to his activate ability. That's my prediction. He's definitely going to hurt your opponent. Um, I don't know if he'll hurt... I, I hope I, so. And he'll hurt all opponents, if it's going to be that. I Yeah, I think they got rid of Black getting single opponent for the most part. Yeah, well, I, I these are clearly based a little bit around helping multiplayer. With the Red God hitting all opponents, I have no reason to believe that they would use yeah, targeted just on just one... Black God, yeah, single player. Sense. Um, but I think he's get. I think his activated ability is going to definitely drain life, and I think his, I think his his his, I think he's still going to do life link. I'm just not sure about how he's going to activate. So, but my, yeah, I want. I don't know what he's going to do for activation now. I was pretty sure with the less life total, with the, like the vampire claws, like the Zendikar one, ten or less life. But I've got so my there. ideal prediction for him like what i want him to be yeah and i'm hoping that it's plausible okay was four drop probably one i'm gonna four drop activate equals to creature cards in graveyard still and have that like x in a black but the top x cards of your graveyard into your library and an opponent loses life gets them out of creature cards revealed this way yeah oh you know what that might not be that that it, it i think it would be it would be good support for the zombie because black doesn't have the self mill right now and it's kind of working off a of discard, so I think this might move the standard shift away from discard and into mill. Too, yeah, which would be nice. But uh, yeah, that would be ideal. And then it would still drain, which I still think is going to happen. I think he's yeah, gonna it, have it would still do the life link. I definitely think he's going to have life link. Um, I'd be happy about that. If green gets death touch and white gets double strike, I think he's going to have life link. So, um, I'm not. Yeah, I think that's a good note to end it on. I think. Uh, that's our prediction for it. So we'll see how right we are in the next th- upcoming days. We still got three more days full of spoilers. Um, and I think we might do a full recap of all the commander stuff. We'll all just pick a couple cards we want to talk about at length. And Worse we me. might do something like that. Um, and uh, thanks for listening. Uh, and you can catch us again for the Black God sometime this week. And maybe for a recap at the end. We're still at the end of se- we still f- we finished uh, we finished season five, and we're starting season six sometime after Almaquette drops, and we should be opening with a whole bunch of uh, built upon the gods. We're gonna build a we might build a few decks around the gods. Even though tips been- on the black one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I figured that. I- I'll probably no, maybe I'll do the green one. I think I might. I'll- I I want to build the blue one. I think he sounds sick. So, All yeah. right, then I'll. If Andy doesn't green. want the green one, he may be, he may do the white. Ah, uh, he may like the white one, so Ooh, we'll see. He might go cat. Go- no cat god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made yourself upset. Shit. Well, you can't have all three of Andy's colors. Wait, we already did the ending note. Oh, we did do the ending note. We'll just we'll just end there, and we'll catch you guys next time. And um, Double Gaming signing off.